Haram, welcome to Mansfield Town. How pleased are you to be joining the club? Uh, thank you, yeah, I'm delighted to be here. You know, I'm happy to get over the line, you know, and I can't wait to get going here. What was it about the club that really attracted you? Um, well, I've seen kind of what the, the club's been building and what they've been trying to do over the last few seasons, you know, getting so close last season. And I think, um, you know, the, the managers really sold it to me and showed me like the plans of what the, where the club's trying to be. Um, and I think I'm the kind of player that can try and help uh, get the club where, where I feel like it belongs. What were your first discussions with manager Nigel Clough like? Yeah, they were, they were really good, you know, the gaffer kind of just let me know his, his style of play, the way he wants to play and control the ball, uh, which I think will suit my playing style. And, you know, he's, he's still ambitious and hungry to, to achieve things in the game, you know. Um, and I know he's, he's got a lot of quality as a manager um, and I've only heard good things about him. So I can't wait to start working with him and get going. You spent time this morning at RH Academy. What have you made of the facilities? Yeah, the facilities are great. Um, obviously, where you go into work every day is, is important and you want to you wanna enjoy where you're going in, into. So just seeing the facilities, seeing how, how many pitches, how, how good the pitches are already at this stage, you know, um, is kind of got me excited. So it will, it will be a, definitely a really good place to go into work every day. You're a midfield player. What type of midfielder are you and what strengths do you have? Yeah, so I'm, I'd say I'm a box-to-box -box midfielder. You know, um, last season popped up with a few goals as well. So that's something that I've needed to add into my game, which I've I've started adding more of. Um, someone that's going to give 100% all the time, give a lot of energy, and uh, yeah, give my all for the team. Really. You know League Two quite well, but most recently you played in League One. Um, how will that benefit you as a as a player dropping down a division? Yeah, I think now uh, is a is a good good time in my career. You know where. I've obviously got a little bit older now and I've got more experience under my belt. I'm someone who knows the league well and sort of knows what it takes to get out of this, to, out of this division, which can be difficult and a sticky one to get out of at times. Um, so, yeah, hopefully my kind of knowledge and experience will bring a sort of calming presence to the side and hopefully I can fight for a place in the, in the team and, you know, just do well from there on. Going back to the start of your career, I believe you started at Crystal Palace's academy. Uh, it's an academy that's known for bringing through a lot of talented players. How do you think that education has helped you getting this far in your career so far? Yeah, it's helped massively, but uh, not, that's not the only place where I think I've, I've learned a lot along the way. You know, all the clubs I've been at have kind of taught me different things. You know, that kind of given me that's kind of given me the start to my kind of football journey, and you know, always thankful to the people there and the coaches and staff. You know, but now I'm kind of just looking forward, looking ahead, and hoping that can be successful here. You've played Mansfield a few times in the past. What can you remember from games both at One Call Stadium and playing Mansfield at home as well for the other teams? Yeah, it's always been a always been a tough game when I played here, you know. Always had good sides and the fans they really get behind the side. Um it's somewhere where you can come and you can feel intimidated by the fans. So hopefully um we're going to have that kind of support through the season because we're going to we're going to need it if we want to achieve something this season. The club's main aim will be promotion this season, but what about you, Haram? Have you got any personal targets? Yeah, I'm, I'm always setting personal targets for myself. You know, I w always want to keep building on the season that I've had previously and have a better one the next season. You know, I'll, I'll quietly keep them to myself. Maybe I'll reveal them to you later on in the season, you know, but the main aim is to be successful for the side, create a, world, a real um, winning ethos and work ethic amongst the boys and just try and hit the ground running. You were the number 44 here at the Stags. Is there any significance behind that number? Um, you know, I've had some good spells in the number. It's, I'm not really uh, that big on superstitions and stuff, but yeah, it's just a number I've taken a liking to, done well in it. And, um, you know, Ollie Clark's got number eight already, so that's, that's probably my favorite number, but four and four makes eight, so that's the only real reason. You've scored a few very impressive goals in your career so far, a few that have done the rounds on YouTube and social media. You don't seem to score many tap-ins. Yeah, I think that's something that I, I've kind of wanted to add into my game, you know, getting getting some of these, you could say, easier goals. It's never easy scoring, but, you know, a few more tap-ins and, and um, goals like that, just because 
I feel that's how you can kind of increase your tally and just it's just about knowing where to be, being in the right place and, and timing it, you know, and um hopefully that's something that the staff and the managers can help me help me with this season because I think we're gonna need everyone chipping in uh in terms of goal contributions. The club will go away for pre season training camp to Scotland next month. Um how much are you looking forward to getting to know your new teammates? Yeah, I'm I'm buzzing to get to know uh, the boys, you know, getting in amongst it. There's a few lads that I know here, like um, Jordan, Barry, uh, Ollie, which I mentioned, and John Joe as well. So I think um, it will be, it's an exciting time for the club. I know last season maybe wasn't the way that the club wanted to end, but, you know, we can really take that take that on and use it as fuel to, to try and be successful. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get to know the boys and just, you know, show what I can do as well. What kind of character are you in the dressing room? Um, you know, I'd say um, I can be quiet at times, but once you get to know me, um, I've got a good personality. I'm someone who wants to try and help lead the team, you know, and I see my confidence will show when I'm, when I'm on the pitch. And see, that's really where I want to kind of do my talking. What are your plans now then? What's next for you? Uh, to be honest, just get, get me to the start of the season, really. And uh, just get myself playing regular again you know that's, that's what I love to do just play football and I want to be, be a part of a team that's going to be successful be a part of a team that's winning you know um, and I'm sure come the start of the season we'll set our targets collectively and hopefully we all have the same kind of target aligned and we can just push towards that Ram thank you for your time best of luck Pleasure. thank you